Okay, so some of you know uh, we've been um, raising pure Longhorn cattle for about 12 or 13 years. And uh, this is not the commercial cattle, commercial Longhorns that you see. You know, the University of Texas has those big kind of man-made uh, <laughs> beasts that are uh, very hybridized and, and mixed with a lot of European cattle and African cattle. Um, we raise pure Longhorns, which are uh, DNA and uh, genetically uh, accurate, um, DNA tested genetically accurate uh, cattle who are traced back to the original Longhorn cattle that first multiplied uh, in the New World. And so um, these are uh, uh, highly um, at risk animals. And there's only about a little over 4,000 uh, mating Longhorns, pure Longhorns in the world, and probably less than 100 or so uh, uh, herd sires. So uh, we've taken this on as kind of something that we really like to do, and, and we're hoping that we're going to see a resurgence of pure Longhorn cattle. Anyways, this morning I went out and uh, went out to feed them. Now we don't feed our cattle. That's one of the uh, one of the reasons people uh, raise pure Longhorns because they don't want to feed them. <clears throat> the pure Longhorn is basically designed to live out here and has uh, su successfully lived out here for many, many centuries without human aid. So uh, uh, the only reason that we take them some cattle cubes every once in a while is to get them coming to a single point when they want a snack. And that allows us to look through the cattle and make sure everyone's healthy uh, and that if we have any new calves. And so today I went out there and uh, d determined we have a few new calves. So I was excited about that. I don't know how much this wind's going to affect my sound, but I was excited about that. I've got two new bulls that have been born in the last week and a half or so. So I figured I'd give you all uh, a uh, view of what it's like to go out and feed and check the cattle in the morning. I'm walking up from the office and I'm carrying about a half a bag of feed uh, cattle cubes. Uh, I had already left a, a full bag of cattle cubes up there and so I want to get rid of this half bag as well. The cattle are usually waiting at this point. They come randomly whenever they decide as a herd that they want to come get some what is pretty much candy to them. And so they gather at this uh, gate and then I come out and feed them and uh and then kind of give them a look over now this is not safe um long, pure longhorn cattle are very gentle but they do have uh, very long swords on their head and so you do have to be very careful and if you can't read cattle and the, both their moods and how they're going to act then you need to uh, not be in a small uh enclosure like this there's the big bull right there and uh they they wouldn't try to do me any harm but uh, they get in fights and there's a couple of my sheep uh, they get in fights and one of them could push another one into you and you could have a problem uh, the, like I said they're gentle animals but they're very very dangerous and so you have to be very careful and you have to be able to read them sometimes they get a little over earnest in their uh, attempts to get some cattle cubes and they get in fights and they push each other around if you get in the wrong place at the wrong time you could uh, you know, they say you mess with the bull, you get the horn. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of uh, looking them over, seeing if there's any injuries. Of course, I got my rams in here causing a little trouble, but uh, I'm looking to see if there's any injuries or anything. You know, longhorns really don't get sick, but sometimes, you know, they'll get caught in uh, mesquite thorns uh, or something and, uh, and can get scratches. And we had one, uh, uh, one of my neighbors that got a thorn in the eye or something like that and so we're keeping an eye on them and then spreading some cubes watching you know which ones have been pregnant which one which calves go with which moms and those sorts of things I do notice uh, as I'm uh, doing this and I'm opening up another bag here and the uh, the little rip paper uh, came apart so I'm having to open it with my knife so anyways, as I'm spreading them, I, I'm you know, watching their movements. I'm watching to see if there's anybody that is, might get aggressive or, you know, if everybody's just being cool and acting okay. And then uh, I'm looking at the calves and, and hoping to see if, if uh, maybe one of the calves pair up with one of the moms so 
I can see, uh, you'll see over here, there's a brand new little brown calf. That's a little bull calf, and that's one of mine. It was just born probably within a day or two. It still has the umbilical cord attached. And then there's another two little uh, black and white uh, calves that I see over there. And, and one of those is another bull calf that's mine. It's probably about a week and a half old. So anyways, this was a day out with the, uh, or a morning out with the cattle, keeping an eye on them. I spent a little bit more time out there than I videoed, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that uh, you learned something.